Welcome back, Dan the Hobby Man. And on this video, I'm going to be doing some wood filler. Reason why I use this stuff is if you use a saw like this, I love this thing. But it's not perfect. So, since this is not perfect, and there's and there's small gaps in your stuff. It's a little bit of this stuff. And it'll make it all go away. Okay? So, if you use this. Okay? Well, of course. You're probably thinking, oh yeah, with the saw and stuff. If you have the saw, you use sanders and stuff. I have a sander. And I sanded it down a lot. But still, still, there are gaps. With those gaps, you use wood filler. And it's a great product. Really, really good product. Got to open up. Uh, okay. It is, it is. Oh, that's a new color. Never seen this one before. Look at this one. It's a pinkish type color. It's soft and mushy. And it's like Play Doh. It's like putty. That's a new color. I've never seen one like this. But. This is exactly the stuff I need for it's my box. Again, I might have to let me see if I start in this corner first. Let's see if hmm, might be able to. It's hard for you guys to see. Maybe if I start on the other side. You don't want to start on the other side. Because of the lighting, it's kind of crappy. Because I want the light from outside to come in, so it'll help see things. I can't see diddly. So, if you can see that seam there. Hoping you can. can you oh. Okay, the seam here. See that seam going all the way up? A little that little bit there too. All right, and we're back, and now I got this thing solid. And look what's happening: it's drying. When it's drying, it's turning that nice wood color. So, so all this pink stuff will eventually turn into is this nice wood color. So all this seems here. I'm just going to take a little bit. Just cram it in there. Best we can. So we can seal up all those corners. Yeah, probably thinking like, oh my gosh, it's like, is it really working? Well, I'm telling you now, this stuff works great. Because when you have small seams like this that are open, you really don't want them. I'm going to close them up. You want to shut it down like I'm the goalie. Nothing gets by. This is what you do. And then once it dries up, uh, use a sander and sand it smooth again. You won't even know. Smashing into that little corner down there. Uh, try to shove some down in there and get this whole scene done for you guys so you can have a good visual of what's going on. This stuff is great. Almost done with this one corner. I have a lot. I have this corner. 
this corner here and the other three corners too that I have to get done. So ain't life grand. Work on a project, take your time. Alright, I got that corner drying. So now what I want to do is slide over this corner here. Now I don't know if you can see this part here. Can you see this part? Yeah you can, okay. So so if you can see here, here's one piece and then here's another piece. There's that seam right there. We want to get that seam gone out of the picture. So we do the same thing. Just get that shoved in there real good. Makes a nice good seal. You don't see it no more. I don't want to show a seam. Really don't. I want it to be a nice one smooth surface. Put a little bit more on there just to make it extra thick. Ah, that'll be perfect. Now we work on the corner, which on the corner, the worst this part here isn't too bad. And then, then it gets down to here. And it gets really bad. So put some down in there. There you go. Put it on nice and thick this time. And go up here. There's another pretty big seam. Cover up. All this wood filler stuff. It is a helpful tool. If you're doing hobbies and projects like mine. This is hard to apply, as you can see. It's really simple. It's like Play-Doh. Like purple Play-Doh. Easy stuff. Oh. Alright. Have this not all that boring right now. Have a small break for you guys. Alright. So, that's what I got. It's on all four corners now. But, we get here. Okay. This is the nail holes. So, uh, if you want to cover those up, you can. Which for me, I decided, why not? I'll go ahead and have those covered up too. Which is the same process. Take a little bit of stuff, the wood filler, just cram it in that hole. Then after it dries, uh, after it dries, uh, sand it down. And then you won't even know. So I have another little one over down here. One up there I think I already covered. And then it's the same process. You just go around. Go go find all the little nail holes. And if it doesn't go in very well, easy fix. I want to show you. First, my hammer. And the second thing is this guy right here. Put it where the nail is. Nice hole. Okay. Now I come back with the wood filler. Now we can really pack it in there really good. All right. Easy peasy, right? Dang right. Easy peasy. Or 
Let's not. This one has the same problem. So same thing. Get my punch in there. Ah. This thing wants to swivel on me. It's on there pretty good. There we go. Now I got a nice little indention in there. Oh, I can't really show it. Can I? Easy peasy. So, so, with these nails, the same process. And then after that's all filled up and stuff, should have a This was one of my first one. That didn't. That, I, I don't think I sealed this that one. So I'm going to do again. Get it up into the seam here. I'll shove this down in that seam. Work it in there. If you want to have that seam all filled in real good. I don't want a seam to show. I really don't. I want to be all closed up. A little nail hole. Cover that in. Is this a perfect seal? By any means, no, it's not. That's why you do it. So, quick pause on this again. <laughs> All right, so this is this guy here is useful for this stuff. <laughs> A little bit on here, and then you can cram it in, and make it extra smooth. Hi, it's his daughter. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and my daughter and her friend are playing baby.